All right, I'm back on the buffalo only because my uh, the gentleman that's taking my clays down to Las Vegas said that he's always getting qu questions about if there's a buffalo piece available. And he wanted to have something, at least a photograph of a buffalo piece that was available. And so I'm going to, he wanted a little more shaggy on the forehead and I have to agree it it will look better that way I already started doing that and uh, I had it way down here but uh, it just wasn't as shaggy as a older buffalo would be so that's what I'm doing today and uh, I'll be right back Just adding a little bit more fur to the front of the face. There's a lot of fur on the skull of a buffalo. Um, I read a book. There's a book you can actually purchase called uh, Journal of a Trapper by Osborne Russell. You can get it online. And it's actually a journal taken. I mean, he, he wrote a journal while he went out west to go trapping back in the 1830s and uh he trapped out here for i guess a good 10 years i don't know i can't remember it's been a long time since i've read the book but i do remember that when he came out west he had no idea even how to hold a, a rifle let alone ride a horse because it's not, it might be hard to believe but a lot of people from back east never rode a horse because they were in a town and they walked everywhere and that's basically what he did uh, but anyway he uh, went out on the first hunt for buffalo there was a big herd that was uh, near the camp that he was at they went out and he picked out a big buffalo I mean just standing and grazing and he went up to it and started, uh, he loaded his rifle and uh, started uh, shooting at it. And the buffalo never even stopped chewing its cud. <laughs> he, he couldn't understand. I mean, he shot almost point blank at this buffalo and the buffalo just stood there chewing its cud. He did that until he emptied his shot pouch and ran out of uh, ammunition and, uh, and, and powder. And he went back to camp. And I guess somebody, I guess he said, talked about it to somebody. And that person said, well, you're not putting enough powder in your gun. <laughs> he... he he was basically under loading his uh, rifle. So he went out the next day and uh, they, I guess they disturbed a grizzly bear in a bush and that grizzly bear came after him and uh, they all started running and Osborne Russell reached around with his rifle and while he's running and shot at the uh, grizzly bear and I, he killed him. And it, I guess in one day he learned how to load a rifle to uh, make it uh, deadly. And uh, you learned quick when you came out west you will learn to either do things right or you would die. Okay, I'm liking the way this is turning out now. The hump is not a big piece of fatty meat. It, it, it is, it, the hump was a prize part of the uh, buffalo when you butchered it but, uh, and you cooked it. 
but it's there's a lot of bone that goes all the way up in there. It's just the whole spine goes up in that direction. All right, that's as much as I'm going to be able to do on this thing. Um, it's pretty well done. Of course, I'm going to go over it if he gets an order for it from the uh, show off the photograph, which I kind of doubt, but never know. I'd love to get this piece in bronze. I think this would look dynamite in bronze. What I'm going to do now is photograph it and get the pictures to him. And we'll go from there. And I'm going to start another piece. I don't know if tomorrow I'm going to try. But I've got an idea for something. And uh, I'm going to work out the, uh, the story behind it. That's all. The Boss. That's the title of the piece. And I think, uh, I think he looks like a boss. All right, everybody, have a great night. I'll see you next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.